Well, hi everyone. I haven't posted up for a while. It's because I've been so busy with all of my podcasts and all of my YouTube. But I wanted to give a little shout out because I've sort of developed a system. And I shouldn't look like up like that anymore, so I'll try not to. But I've developed a system. It's kind of neat. And I wanted to share it. I've been able to put out about two or three podcasts a day which sounds like it sounds like a lot of production yeah well it is but i've come up with a system and i want to share it and again i'm an absolute beginner so i'm kind of learning as i go but here's how i have done the audio portion not so much the video i'm still learning the video you're going to get that when i figure it out but i wanted to give you my system for making clear crisp sounding audios and being able to do it very quickly. Well, first, a little trick that I learned from watching a YouTube video, and that trick was do it in batches. This particular YouTube guy said do it in three, in groups, in groups of three. So that's what I try and do. If I'm doing a podcast, I try and record three podcasts at a time. If I'm doing uh, like a sermon, I'll do like three sermons, although that's a little difficult because some of those get lengthy. If I'm doing some poetry, I'll try and do three poetries at a time. If I'm doing some leadership videos or leadership blogs, I'll try and do like three of those at a time. This batch processing seems to work pretty well. But what I really want to talk about real quickly, and again, this is going to be short, is the system that I've come up with for creating these great audios. First, I record the audio. I have a come to the the perfect podcast solution. The per, what's the perfect podcast solution for me? I use Rode Podcaster Pro mic, and I use the and I'm looking over because I want to make sure I get it right. The Rode, uh, I think it's called the. Roadcaster Pro. It's their mixer. So the podcast mic cost $99. Their mixer, which is just the coolest thing since sliced bread. And you can go and see a lot of these things on lots of YouTube videos, but it is really cool. That whole setup costs about $660, but you can produce great sounding audio recordings with it. And that it's absolutely great for a podcast. That's the first thing I do. The second thing I do, once I record the audio track, I run it through a TechSmith product called Audiate. Audiate is a product that TechSmith came up and it allows you to clean screen and get rid of all those kind of crazy things like the and the heavy breathing and that, you know, all of those things that you don't want in your final post-production audio track. Great. It comes, it's a subscription. It's, I think, $29 a month worth every penny. And the final thing that I do, I don't do it all the time because with my audio setup, with my podcast mic and the Rodecaster Pro mixer, sometimes after I clean it up with audio, it's ready to go right to production. But every once in a while, I've got to clean up because um, I'm recording <laughs> underneath the flight path. And sometimes the aircraft noise gets a little bit loud. And sometimes it, the echo of the, the broadcast is a little bit more than I want. Or my voice is just a little bit off and I want to clean it up. That's when I go to my third product, my third go-to product. And that's Adobe Edition. Adobe Edition 2022. And you, it, now the downside of Adobe Edition is it takes a little bit of time to learn how to use it correctly because some of the, the settings on that are pretty sophisticated. Like you have a de which gets rid of all the ass sound. It really does pretty well. You have a denoiser, You have a de-hummer. You have a parametric equalizer. And it was easy to use the favorites when I first started out, but I wanted a better fidelity on cleaning. So I spent the time and I learned how to use some of those, those products. 
those are my three two excuse me those are my three go-to products number one is my podcast setup which is the podcaster mic and the uh, roadcaster pro editor the second one is to clean up my script and clean up my audio with um, te the TechSmith Audiate application. And the third one is the o Adobe Edition 2022. If you use those three products and you learn really them very well, and then the other thing, as I said earlier, you do bulk editing and you do bulk recording you should get some pretty decent audio clips out of your for your podcast or for your YouTube. Now, video, that's another story, and I'm still working on mastering of that, but I wanted to get this up real quickly. I will talk to you again, and this is Dr. Dave Martin, the absolute YouTube beginner, although I'm not so absolute beginning anymore, but I just again let you kind of come along with my trip thanks for watching this talk to you again soon bye